Ladies and gentlemen, children of all ages, the word for today is hubris. Hubris is a prideful overconfidence. And uh, if you are a middle-aged man or you know someone who is a middle-aged man, you are going to come smack dab face-to-face -face with hubris. That's what happens in this video. Hey, I'm Carl Thomas, and this is my 2013 Chevy Silverado. It's a second gen Silverado 1500. It is the regular cab. It's exactly what I was looking for. I have a bunch of projects I need to do on it. Nothing major, but a whole bunch of minor upgrades. You can see, we gotta get the stance right. This, this gotta come lower right here. Also, I need a backup camera. Gonna do a bed liner. Gotta do the caps here. Gonna put a stereo in it. We got some interior upgrades we need to do. But the first thing I need to do is we need to wax it. It's in good condition, but not great condition. And the paint definitely needs some help. So my goal along was to get a truck that could be a hobby truck. It could be a project truck. I did not want a vehicle that I needed to work on to get running. Way back when I was young, I got a Volkswagen Carmagia that was gonna be my project car. And I found out very quickly that when your main transportation has to be worked on to get somewhere, it takes all the fun out of it. So I wanted a truck in good mechanical working order, uh, but still there was room for improvement. And so I got, I, I, I looked for a truck. I don't know why I wanted a truck. I just wanted a truck. And so I found one. Trucks are ridiculously expensive today. But what's funny about the project here and why this just gets funnier as we go on, my original idea was I was gonna just put up my canopy real quick so I could keep the sun off the truck so it doesn't get too hot so I could just wax it without the paint getting warm. And I, this thing, this turned out to be a way bigger project than I thought. Just putting up the tent, which is, indicative it's prophetic of this entire project that took way longer than i thought it was going to take uh but i got all my supplies i set it all up and uh here here's what i went with um to work on the paint uh, we want to go ahead and preserve the paint so the first thing i'm gonna do is i'm gonna wash it with some dawn dish soap i'm gonna cut lightly wash it real good i'm probably gonna wash it twice after that i got the mcguire's clay kit it comes with the lubricant and the clay i'm going to go ahead and clay bar the entire thing as the delivery truck goes by so after that i'm going to do this ultimate mcguire's compound i'm going to use my neighbor's high speed buffer the clay bar and i do the high speed compound liquid wax but i know there's people who advocate the ceramic and all this other stuff for now i'm just going to protect the paint with some wax turtle wax chrome polish both the front in the rear buffers with that i got this mcguire's hot shine for the tires and after that i will do the wheels with the chrome polish as well but i'll probably do that by hand all right so here's what the uh, directions say they say to uh you missed with this uh quick detailer mist and wipe get this clay and then i rub the clay bar over the lubricated surface to remove bonded contaminants and then wipe the surface dry with my microfiber towel. Who knows? Let's see how it goes. So let me just start by saying that these products are all great. I I'm, I'm happy with the products that I chose. I'm um, not as happy with the guy I hired to do it, which, which is the guy talking right now. Uh, I, I noticed immediately as I was doing the clay bar, man, it was making, it was making a difference. And, and for me, just accomplishing stuff on my day off is good for my mental health. I know a lot of talk about mental health these days, but when I accomplish things, I start to feel better about myself. And so I'm out here grinding 
Uh, but I'm not I'm not really paying attention to the weather. I'm getting a little frustrated because it's hot and it's heating up the truck and that's starting to cause some problems and I should have been wearing a hat during all this, but I, I'm still I'm still doing my thing. I'm still working and uh, let's just see, you know. So what what's the verdict? All right, we did the whole clay bar routine on the entire truck and uh, it, it's smooth now, but there are still there's still blotches and and uh it, i'm gonna run the compound now on it and uh, see what that does all right so uh let's get started on that all right now 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 it's time for some man stuff i got the uh orbital buffing thingy from my my neighbor thanks lance for that and i'm i'm going to town here um wax on wax off sun is coming down and uh about this time i remembered Man, I, I, I got some issues. Well, I just finished doing the compound layer. Do you see that guy right there? That, that's the look of a guy who thinks he's getting somewhere. Take, take, take a look at how shiny the face is. How, how hot. I mean, it feels like a thousand suns are beating on me right now. And uh, it feels like I, I, I'm, my shoulder is getting sore. This guy doesn't want to feel defeated. But he's feeling kind of defeated. W w watch what happens next. Um, the compounding and removal. I think as the sun got lower, I got less shade on the truck. And so it was kind of heating up a little bit. So it got a little bit harder to remove the compounding agent. But now it's on to the polishing and then the wax. So let's, let's see what happens. Okay, so that, that's what that's what confident, optimistic Carl sounds like right there. You know, hey, we're having some problems with the sun. Look at it. It's beating on there. And so now I'm like wetting it down to cool the paint before I put on polish. And the truth is, I couldn't get the polish off. And this, this just got more and more and more frustrating. And, and, and not only that, I got this old injury on my right rotator cuff that I haven't had a problem with in a long time until I spent nearly two days clay barring, compounding, polish, wax. It, it, it just got worse and worse and worse. And you know, when I was young, I had a, I had a Volkswagen Carmen Ghia and I bought it and I wanted to fix it up. and. I put some work into it, but I never really had the budget. I never really had the time or skills or tools to fix it. And I think deep down, most guys want to fix up a vehicle at some point in their life. Like that's, that's a thing that guys like to do. And I had this dream when I was young of fixing up this car and, and it just, it didn't work out. I bought it. I had it for a couple years. It caught on fire after I had to get an engine rebuild. And I wound up selling it for less than I bought it for. And I felt like I got the better end of the deal. And, and that's, that's just, that's how things work out sometimes, you know? And so this, this was a bit of a redemption tour on the truck. And, you know, I'm, I'm waxing, I'm polishing, I'm doing the thing. But in the end, the benefit of having a car that I don't need to work on it for it to run means that I can fail at a project and it's okay. I still have a way to get to work. And so I wound up looking at the polish not coming off my car for a while. And eventually I had to get the professionals involved. And in a future video, I'll go over that. But I keep this video in there showing, hey, I didn't get this project worked out right to show, man, this is a journey. There, there's a journey in this life and sometimes you win and sometimes you lose, but it's the growth that we have in the process. Try new things. Maybe you fail, but maybe, maybe you do something you haven't done before. And for me, the benefit isn't just having a nicer truck. It's accomplishing things. And, and that makes my overall mental health better. 
So if you want to see me continue this work, I hope you sub subscribe to this channel because I'll continue to do stuff. So listen, so I got I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope, I hope you can laugh with me and, and I hope you can laugh at yourself a little bit. God, God likes a little humility and he likes, he likes us having some times where we uh, get humbled <laughs> and I was humbled in this thing. I do get this all solved at some point. And so uh, I have a video I'm working on that. And, um, uh, just, just, just subscribe if you would hit like, even if, even if you don't plan on watching anymore, cause it's free and it really helps me out. And, uh, but I have, uh, I'm going to be working on my garden, which has taken a little abuse and I'll show you how I'm working on that. And, uh, just, just keep, keep, keep just doing whatever it is you're doing. Just keep plugging ahead. Just keep moving forward. That's, that's really my advice. Don't give up. And, uh, and, and just, just keep plugging away and, uh, let your dreams come true. I believe you can make it. I hope you do too. All right.